Hey, what up, everyone? This is Mondo All Day back with another video. And in this video, I'll be showing you my build guide for cable. I'll be showing you where I place my omegas, hero synergy points, power points, as well as which uniques I use, which artifacts I use. And at the very end, I'll be showing you my rotation and how I was able to, you know, give you advice, give you advice as far as how I was able to pass cosmic trial with cable. Again, I use a little over 3,000 omegas, so you don't have to have maxed out omegas in order for you to pass cosmic trial with cable so again this is my build guide to pass cosmic trial with cable with using 3000 omegas so let's get right into it so for artifacts i use essence of dread for the mental damage rating critical hit rating and health uh scroll nix for eye patch for the damage rating to bosses defense rating and health maybe not the best artifact but it's useful scroll x-men medallion for for the obviously the plus one energy power duration health and also two when it gives you extra damage to mental damage uh, when you hit with the mental power and area power and plus when you hit both mental and area powers you gain uh, plus two fighting mayhem demon blood you get plus two fighting plus two speed when you kind of stack them and plus you get the extra health and damage to melee powers since this is a melee build and then again, uh, I use artifact for armor issued non poison for plus two fighting, which is, which is very useful. And then for uniques, they're all of his uniques, they're all of Cable's uniques. So again, these are all Cable's uniques. And then I use Cable modern, modern costume. And then for obviously, you want to use a critical damage rating grades. And then for the core, I use one they gave me plus one energy, extra health, and I. It gives you 25% of your health when you use medkit and 100 spirits. For the ring, I use industrial city ring, which for the mental attacks, mental powers, because he is a mental uh, character. And for insignia, I use insignia of patrol uh, Rasputin. I can't pronounce it correctly, so um, yeah. But I use this one because it gives you 175 damage rating to melee powers and 145 defense rating when he with any power. And plus it gives you the brutal damage rating in spirit, so it's pretty good. And for the pets I use, they give you, well the pets are relevant, but this pet gives me, I take less damage from enemy melee powers, plus 30 spirits, plus 2% base mental damage, plus 1 to signature powers, and then plus 2 for fighting. So let's, let me show you the powers and where I place them again this is a melee build so all of his attacks are all melee so most likely you're going to be using a lot of um, the center one but let me just show you where I placed them I placed 20 or maxed out for scimitar slice maxed out scimitar sweep a techno organic virus max that out because of the passive 60 for swift lunge is very useful maxed out impaling thrust maxed out signature obviously Max style telekinetic repulsion for the passive. Max style veteran warrior, and then you want to use the um, it's kind of discipline, because again for melee. And then scimitar slam max that out. For the omegas, um, again roughly three thousand, as you can tell here it was a little over three thousand. But um, neural enhancement, I did one for tactical neural Im Im implant for the melee critical hit rating and critical damage rating. Arcane Entombment, I use 5 uh, Sarathos for the extra damage to mental attacks. 2 for Ego of the Living Planet for the durability, speed, and energy. He is a bit weak, so that durability does help a lot too. 1 for Earth because of the extra base damage. And then 1 for Sakaar for the deflect rating and melee damage. Special Weapons, nothing there. Mutation, 2 for Fighting for the plus 2 Fighting attribute. And then Frenzy, just 1 there for the melee power you gain. 120 critical hit dam damage rating. Radioactive Origins, one for A bomb, one for Harpy, and then one for Lyra. Three for Spintech to get the extra damage to bosses. Human Augmentation, nothing there. Psionics, three Melt Phase. It gives you brutal damage rating. Two for Master Telepath for the base damage for mental attacks. And then. Um, when you hit with the mental power, you generate 60 health. That's very useful. Two for antigenesis for that plus two energy, deflect rating, and then mental defense rating. And that should be all. And then one, I think I said that already. Hero synergies. 
One for Cable for the critical hit rating. Doom Wagon for the, won't make this any easier. Doom for the extra damage to signature powers. Doctor Strange for the mental damage. Uh, Ghost Rider for the critical hit rating to mental powers. Hawkeye for the critical damage and move speed. Human Torch for the area. Nightcrawler for the melee. Rogue for um, you regenerate spirit and health on any hit. War Machine for the spirit increase and then plus one fighting. And then last but not least, Wolverine for the brutal damage. Strike and brutal damage. So that's where I place all my synergies and power points and omegas. So now I will show you my rotation. It's fairly simple. Alright, let's get right into it. So again, he is a melee build. So for my basic is uh, is scimitar slice, veteran warrior, scimitar sweep, impelling thrust, um, scimitar slam, and then signature. And then I use swift lunge. But then I do have another one, number two, where it's the same same build. It's just that I use telepath or quick body slide. Which is this? I can move faster and then that way I can avoid enemies and I use swift lunge when I'm doing damage to enemies like right here see I believe it does bleed too right I'm not too sure but anyways so how do I do my rotation it's fairly simple I rarely use uh, phase magnum rarely use it but the way I play with him is this I for sure activate veteran warrior because when you actively um, use this, enemies take plus 10 dam um, percent damage for 9.5 seconds. We get enemies deal 10 percent less damage for 9.5 seconds. So what I usually do is activate that, and you can do it multiple times as long as you have spirit. So veteran warrior, and you can just do really nice damage. Look at that, almost half a million. That's a basic move, and I use this a lot because I don't use any spirit. So. What I usually do again, activate that and then I start doing damage. Okay. Or if we got my team up, I use Arachne because she's all mental and so I have a mental build for her. But the way it works is like this. When you use this, when, let me show you. Yeah, I just want to make sure. What you want to do is this. You want to do, my rotation is simple again. I use Veteran Warrior, I usually do Slice, that's common, but what you want to do is this, my rotation is simple, I usually use Scimitar Slam, and then I use after that um, Impelling Thrust, Scimitar Sweep, but I make sure I activate Veteran Warrior, because when you use Scimitar Slam, if you read it correctly, it says here, you gain 25% increase to, um, I can, I can't even pronounce it, but, Basically, to his middle powers, which I'm using all of them, you gain 25% increase of damage for 10 seconds. And so what that does is, and this is a very powerful attack too, so what you can do is this. Use Veteran Warrior. Use this. And, just do your and that's it. So activate Veteran Warrior, Scimitar Slam, Impaling Thrust, Scimitar Sweep. Because you get that extra damage. So when you do that, you're doing massive, massive damage. Now, how do you incorporate that with signature? Simple. What you want to do again, activate signature first because the signature does take up a long time. So let's say you're fighting with the boss or whatever, and you can it here. Activate signature first. Once you activate it, veteran, or you can do two veterans, which is this, and then use this and just start doing a rotation which is Scimitar Slam, Impelling Thrust, and Scimitar Sweep. And that gives you enough time for Signature to activate, and so when you activate Scimitar Slam, with, with an increase of 25% to um, you know, his powers, it gives you even more damage to his Signature. So it looks something like this. And again, Signature, Activate Veteran Warrior, and then just a rotation. So, Signature... That's my rotation, and just keep doing damage if you move here. And then again, our rotation. Mm. 
Now, why are you winning this? See what I mean? And that's really it. Again, he's very, very simple. And so when you're doing... When you're doing um, Cosmic Trial, try to have this rotation where you you activate Signature first and then do Veteran, uh, Scimitar Slam, Impaling Thrust, and Scimitar Sweep. Because when you do that, you do massive, massive damage. So we can look something like this one more time. See what I mean? It does massive damage. And that's really his rotation. And say so when signature is, is some cooldown, you can do the same rotation again. Oops, I forgot to do veteran, but you see what I mean. And that's really that's how you play with um he will just activate and then just do massive damage. And that's really it. And then obviously for signature, for red skull, try to make sure your you know the mouse is hovering over um a red skull and just activate his signature that way it does all the damage but even with the signature if you do this rotation where you do veteran warrior um signature and then all this with this ult with this ultimate you're just going to do massive massive damage and that's really it again this is my build guy for cable he's fairly simple to play with um i use a swift lunge so i can do more damage so if I'm fighting someone and they're going to do damage, I can just, as opposed to doing this, which doesn't do any damage. So I want to use this just to teleport me. If I'm like, let's say I'm low on health and I need to teleport fast somewhere, like be hide behind something. As opposed to, you know. But again, that is it. That is my build for Cable. Um, if you have any questions, please comment in the section below. But again, this is my build guide for Cable. Not the best, maybe not the best artifacts. So some of them are not the best. But again, I used over, th over three, a little over 3,000. But if you have more than 3,000 Omegas, which I do, that was 7830. With this build, and you put more placements in, in, in uh, more Omegas elsewhere. Like maybe here, or just anywhere else. You're going gonna to have a strong, strong character I mean just having two million and then two million again that's four that's four million you're just gonna again you're just gonna do massive damage and it's just gonna be it's gonna be brutal so that's it that's my build guy for cable again if you have any questions please comment in the section below uh, if, you guys, if you guys are interested in a certain build guide or you want me to sh do a certain build guide for certain characters again please feel free to comment Alrighty, thanks. Bye.